Hey guys, my name is Sid. Welcome to another tech vlog. And today I want to talk to you guys about this insane announcement that Elon Musk himself made. And that is about this new technology called Neuralink. I heard about the announcement. I saw the live stream and I can't believe more people aren't talking about this because this is absolutely ridiculous. Neuralink is a brain implant that you put inside your brain and uh, they've developed this new technology which consists of microfibers. They're electrodes that go inside your brain about the size of a neuron, 10 times thinner than a human hair and they will surgically implant them in your head using this sophisticated robot. I know some of this seems like science fiction but apparently we have the technology today. Elon Musk even said that they've experimented with this on a monkey and the monkey was able to control a, a computer with his mind. So uh, this is something that's happening. Now a couple of things that are really interesting about this technology. Pretty much like uh, a very primitive version of what they show you in the Matrix, where somebody just jacks uh, themselves into the Matrix and they're in a different universe, because uh, this device can read and write to your brain. Is that some more? Hell yes. Hell yeah. So this is kind of how it works, so at least this is what I understand of it. They're going to implant uh, these different neural sensors, the N1 chips, into your head. The goal with this thing is to be as non-invasive as possible, so you should be able to go in. And uh, they're saying that it's comparable to a LASIK surgery. Now, I've done my LASIK surgery before. Uh, it's pretty non-invasive. You'll be in discomfort for like a day, but that's pretty much it. It's uh, pretty much you go in the morning. You're done by the evening, you sleep and you're fine. They want to bring the installation of this Neuralink technology to that level so that it's acceptable to the masses. So because of the thinness of these things and the complexity of your human brain, uh, they need to use this robot to actually install these cables inside your brain. It'll actually put these electrodes microscopically using a needle and it'll be able to install it inside your brain, avoiding any kind of sensitive areas like blood vessels and things like that so that there's minimum discomfort, no trauma to your brain. I mean, of course, there's gonna be a little bit of trauma to your brain, but I mean, they're gonna to try to minimize that as much as possible within an acceptable amount of risk. So once this thing is installed in your brain, it all connects to this N1 chip, which is inside your skull. You can actually communicate with a Bluetooth device, which is at the back of your ear. Now their idea is to have an app, the Neuralink app, which you will be able to connect to this Bluetooth device and then use your brain as a mouse or a keyboard for your phone or any other electronic device. At least that's the aim in phase one. So right now it's kind of designed towards, uh, you know, people with disabilities, quadriplegics, people who have lost the ability to use their arms. So they need something uh, to interface directly with their brain to be able to interact with the world. And that's what they're doing initially. But eventually their plan is to you know, make this for the masses and augment your brain with artificial intelligence. I mean, this is not me saying it. This is literally coming out from Elon Musk's mouth. Yeah, this is going to sound pretty weird, but um, achieve a sort of symbiosis with artificial intelligence. But I think with um, a high bandwidth brain machine interface, I think we can actually go along for the ride um, and we can effectively have the option of merging with AI. So basically his plan is to augment humans with artificial intelligence. And uh, if you saw him in the Joe Rogan podcast, he kind of talked about this a little bit as well. There's two layers to the human brain, which is your limbic system, which controls your movement. And then the other part of it, which controls your thoughts. And there is a third layer now, which is essentially your phone. It's a very slow method of, um, you know, interfacing with technology. Your phone, you're using your fingers and your eyes. Um, or maybe you're using your voice. It's still a very slow method of interaction. Using Neuralink will be like a direct interface. You could literally be in a situation maybe 50 years from now where you could click a button and learn Kung Fu just like the Matrix. How was it? 10 hours straight. He's a machine. Show me. They are still yet to be FDA certified to start human testing. And the aim is to start next year in 2020, which is not far away at all. And if the FDA approves it, we should start seeing people actually getting the Neuralink installed in their brain. So apparently Elon Musk got thousands of 
people interested in volunteering for this program, they said it's going to be an augmentation layer. It's going to be synergistic. So you are part of the AI or you are, you know, interfacing with the AI using your brain. Sounds very matrixy to me, man. Do you believe that my being stronger or faster has anything to do with my muscles in this place? You think that's air you're breathing now? I just thought I would share my thoughts quickly about this Neuralink. I think it's a, it's really interesting technology. I don't know how many people would be comfortable with installing something in their brain, even though it's not that invasive a surgery, but still, I mean, it's kind of weird to think about doing that. 20 years from now, when Neuralink becomes super cheap and you can install it in an afternoon with zero risk, would you go ahead and do it? Like you'd have the internet at the speed of thought um, I think that's an interesting idea. I don't know if I would do it myself, but let me know in the comments guys. Let me know what you think of this whole Neuralink thing. Uh, if you like this video, hit that like button, leave me a comment, subscribe. I don't usually do videos like this, but uh, I just thought I'd share my opinion about Neuralink and I'll see you guys in the next one.